In this video, we are going to learn how to change color of text and header row after interval in SSRS report. So we are going to use uh, some functions here. We will be using a switch. Uh, we will be using uh, seconds, uh, and uh, then we will be changing uh, the background color and text color in our SSRS report on some interval. So think about a uh, report uh, right here. Once we preview this report, this is how it is going to look like. Uh, but we want to change uh, the color after 10 seconds, uh, maybe five seconds uh, of uh, header row and the background color for the header row and we would like to change the color of text here in the detail as well on that interval so as of now what is happening now this is static color once we see that report is going to stay the same way we would like to change it what i'm going to do here i'm going to write some expressions so depending on the expressions we will change the value so hit uh, right here and then uh, press F4. Once you press F4, it is going to take you to the properties uh, for this entire row. And here we have background color. Go to the orange and uh, go to expressions. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to use uh, a function called second. So if I go to common functions, date and time, and here I have a method or a function that's called seconds. So let's find out that one. So it return us the second. So from a 0 to 59. So we are going to use that one. And the with switch, we will use the second function. So let's write switch and second together. So here, I'm checking now. That's going to give us the current time. If I will say is greater than 50 seconds. So give me the color. And here, come back to the constants and we have the colors so if uh, as of now the time is uh, in the seconds is more than 50 i would like to get uh, this uh, tomato color okay now i'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, sorry uh, let me hit the control z control z doesn't work so we were at the wrong place let's write seconds again and uh, now is greater than 50 so that's where I want to put the color so let's uh, go and select tomato and now put comma then uh, we will be writing if uh, second is uh, greater than 40 so every 10 second we are checking uh, if it is greater than 40 we can uh, write uh, is greater than or equal to is uh, if we want to uh, make that comparison more accurate uh, so we, what we would like to do, we would like to convert uh, this background color to green. And the uh, same way we are going to do, keep going. And uh, in 30, if we have 30, then what we would like to do, we would like to have uh, kind of khaki. Then uh, we are going to change this one to the, now we have 30, now we have 20. And uh, for 20, what we would like to have, uh, maybe yellow sorry hit a couple of times comma and then press again if it is greater than 10 I would like to have this color aqua and if it is greater than 0 so that can be 0 to 10 here because we are checking the, this condition already so that way we would like to have this one and this is it now what is happening it's going to check the very first condition if it will be true it's going to give us a tomato if uh, it will be not true it will come to the next one and check uh, and if uh, the seconds will be 40 bit above 40 that can be less than 50 so it will give us a lime green and then if it is not true as well it's going to come to the next one and check uh, the time so every time uh, when we refresh our report uh, there would be somewhere our seconds value will be so let's say if it is a uh, 22 so then uh, these conditions will be false uh, and it will uh, come right here and show us uh, the yellow so this is how it is going to work so let me copy this one we might use in other expressions hit ok now the second part uh, of this uh, report is uh, we need to refresh uh, so that's how the time will be uh, calculated for the now if we are not refreshing the report uh, let's say if i'm here 
and I'm not refreshing the report so first ever whatever the color it is uh, it is taken at that time and by, by using the expression that's gonna be stay as it is once I refresh you then uh, expression will reevaluate and the, the color will change to refresh the report you have to click anywhere here press F4 and then uh, you can go to the auto refresh here and uh, right now we have zero so we can provide uh, that value in seconds uh, let's say if we would like to refresh our report uh, every 10 seconds uh, so now when the next time it's gonna refresh uh, the expression will evaluate and whatever the second uh, uh, value will be we, we will uh, get the background color according to that uh, now hit ok and uh, preview the report uh, we have to wait here for 10 seconds uh, as it will refresh uh, and once it will refresh uh, the color will change uh, depending upon the seconds uh, so now you can see it is uh, aqua and the next time it is going to come back uh, it will be 10 seconds uh, and we have written those expression uh, on 10 second interval so we are checking every 10 second and yellow so that's how the value of this uh, background will change now let's go back uh, and do one thing let's change the color of this text so hit f4 and uh, here let's go to the property we have background color we have a uh, text let's find a text somewhere found and as of now we have color black i'm gonna go ahead and write expressions so I can write the same expression uh, what I have here so um, we can check for seconds we can change to tomato and all those things if we uh, we don't like that color maybe we'll, we, we can change anyone whatever works best for us so in in the cases uh, instead of khaki maybe we would like to have dark colors so I'm gonna for aqua as well I'm gonna change the aqua to the some other dark green and uh, for purple is fine in the tomato I'm gonna change this one to um, maroon so same uh, whatever the logic is above uh, this is the same logic we are checking for the seconds uh, and whatever the second value will be evaluated uh, and uh, then uh, it will uh, change the color of text uh, so hit ok now preview the report and now you will see as of now we have a uh, kind of yellow I don't know exactly the name of these colors uh, uh, but on the background of uh, header row this is what we have and uh, our um, color for the text is uh, different uh, so every 10 seconds uh, the report is going to refresh and change the color for text as well as a uh, header row and uh, you can uh, uh, go ahead and change the interval and uh, if you uh, in this uh, in, in the expressions as well as uh, report refresh uh, and by doing it uh, uh, you will be able to get the colors uh, as uh, as you want so as you can see that uh, here we have green and then we have uh, aqua and all that so uh, this, this this works great when uh, let's say you are displaying some dashboard on the on the tv screen uh, in your company and uh, you want to change the colors for text and uh, you want to change the color for uh, your uh, background uh, uh, columns or headers or even uh, the background for the report uh, you can uh, use these properties uh, to change that so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video